The video you're about to see is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be setting up the Edison overlay to our Tesla menu. And then after, we will be adding some cheats. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so here we have the Edison overlay. And in order for this to work, you need to have the Tesla menu sys module on your custom firmware setup. So if you don't have this, I will have two options on how to get this on your SD card. But before I do that, I would like to mention that those of you that downloaded my custom firmware pack with Atmosphere and Hecate, the Tesla version, if you downloaded that pack, then you already have the Tesla menu. So all you would need to do is just wait till I explain this uh, little bit of extra information and then uh, you can follow along after. Okay, so those of you that do not have the Tesla menu already set up on your custom firmware, then I have these two options for you here. The first option is going to be my custom firmware packs that I make updates on when there is a new switch firmware. In this case, this pack is in support of the firmware 17.00. It also works on firmwares less than that as well. But this pack says the other side atmosphere 1.6.2, the Tesla version. And this has a custom firmware setup and it also comes with the Tesla menu. This is also paired with the Hecate 6.0.7, making this set up a complete custom firmware pack for you. And this works well for those of you that want to upgrade your custom firmware if you haven't already, or those of you that are starting fresh and with a new SD card and you want to have a full uh, custom firmware setup and you should be good to go with that. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description to my video where I show um, me setting up the SD card with these packs here. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and look for that. And then the second option will be this. It's just a simple Tesla pack that I did, and it is just Tesla menu. And you would download the zip file, link in the description as well, and just use your zipping software to extract these two files to your root of your SD card. And it will add the Tesla menu for you. So once you do that, then you should have Tesla menu. And then now we can go ahead and continue with this video. Okay, so I wanted to let y'all know that if I'm going too fast for y'all or if I'm being confusing at any moment, you can uh, pause and leave a comment. I am usually pretty quick with responding on YouTube and you can let me know before you decide to do anything and I can um, give you some advice or maybe explain things a little bit better. So just letting you know that you have that option before you continue here. Okay, so we have Tesla menu on our custom firmware setup and we have the SD card open. Now we can go ahead and download these two files for today. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links and one of them should say, download the other side AIO switch update or app, or something like that. Once you click on that link, it'll take you to my GitHub page. And here, all you need to do is just look down here in this assets area. Make sure it says the other side AIO switch of data. Click on this link and start the download process. After that, we can look in the description again and look for the link that says download Edison overlay here. Once you click on the link, it'll be the same thing. Take you to my GitHub page and it will look like this. And it says support for 1700. And same thing, just click on this link here, start the download process. After that, you can have it move to the desktop like I have done already. Okay, so once you download these two files, I want to explain real quick why you need these two. So you need the Edison overlay, so that way you can enable or disable cheats while you're in game using the Tesla menu. I'll be showing that later. And I'm also having you add the other side AIO switch of data app, because with using this with your Wi-Fi, you can download a cheats database that is updated daily using this app, which I'll be showing later. I wanted to make things as simple as possible. And instead of having to go to websites and look for cheats like that, I'll be showing these two things, but I just wanted to quickly explain why you're going to be needing these two files. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to add to the SD card is the other side AIO switch of data app. And I'm going to be using seven zip to open this archive. And if you want to follow along with me, I'll leave a download link to seven zip in the description as well. But once I open the zip file, we see this one switch folder here. And then all you have to do is just highlight and extract to 
the root of the SD card, which is this empty space here, and at the beginning of your SD card where you're not inside any folders. Once it extracts, it's going to put the AIO switch updater into the switch folder in the directory, and you can go ahead and check to see if that's in there, and we have it right here. So now that we're inside the switch folder, now we can go to the Edison overlay and look for this overlays folder here, and you're going to want to put this inside the overlays folder. And that's pretty much it. You can check to see if it's inside there, and we have it right here. Once you have this set up already, now you have the updater, switch updater, and the Edison overlay, and you're pretty much done. We can go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to um, eject out of my SD card, and I'll meet y'all back on the switch. Okay, so once you're here on the switch home menu, you want to make sure that your Tesla menu is working and also you have the Edison overlay. So in order to go into the Tesla menu, you need to activate it with this button combination. So with your Joy-Cons, you're going to want to hold down the top shoulder button on the left. And then you're going to want to also hold the down on the D-pad. And then on the right, you're going to want to press the right analog just one time. So if you do this button combination, you should pop up the Tesla menu. And I know I have more things, but we're just focused on Edison right now. And here on Edison, if you click on it right now, it'll take you to Edison and it'll have these two options here, system information and cheats. So if we click on cheats, it's going to show that there's no cheats loaded because we have not downloaded them yet. And also we're not in game. So before we download them, let's just go into a game. So that way I can show you how it looks like from in there. Okay, so here at the main menu of this title, I just wanted to show y'all that Edison changes while you're already inside the title. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you open the Tesla menu and then go to Edison, now above the cheats next to the word Edison, it shows the program ID. So now Edison has picked up on the title ID, and when you download the cheats, Edison will automatically populate the cheats available for this title specifically. But of course, if we go into cheats right now, there's nothing there because we haven't downloaded them yet. I just wanted to show you all this and it's going to be the same for the other titles as well. It will pick up specifically the cheats for that title. So now let's go ahead and download the cheats. Okay, so in order to get these cheats, we need to download them using the AIO Switch Updater app. But before we go into the app, you need to make sure that you have an internet connection already active. So if you look above my head, I have my internet connected already and it's active. So if you don't have this, then the app will not work for you. But once your internet is connected, then you can go into the AIO Switch Updater app. So another thing I would like to recommend is using the AIO Switch Updater app using the HP menu without Apple mode. So I do that by going into this uh, custom forwarder that I have. If you want to have this, leave a comment down below and I can uh, help you out with that. And if you don't, then you would need to use a title override in, in which if you don't know that either, leave a comment and I'll help you out with that as well. But I'm going to go into my HP menu here. And what I was talking about without Apple mode, if you look above my head, there's no red letters that says Apple mode. But I am still connected to my internet. And after that, you can go into the AIO switch updater. Make sure it says the other side on it and just go right in. Okay, so after entering the AIO switch updater, you'll have this main menu here. And if your internet connection is active, you should be able to see links in these tabs here. But we're interested in download cheats, and you should be able to see this first link here. And this is where you want to download. It says that this version is from 11.05.2023. It's supposed to get updated daily. So the next day, if you go into here, it'll most likely say 11.06. So it'd be up to you if you want to continue downloading it, it always extracts and overwrites. So it's okay to download over and over again. But this is how we get our cheats for our titles. So just go ahead and click uh, A to start the download. Click A again. And now it's downloading the cheats for us. Okay, now it says all done. We could just go ahead and click back. And we can actually get out of here by clicking the plus button. And now we should have cheats for all the titles that are available that has cheats already. So I'm going to do a test on these just so that way you can see that there's uh, cheats available, but I think it wouldn't show yet here. So let's see. Cheats. Okay. So it hasn't popped up because like I said, it hasn't populated the title ID. So now let's go into a title. I'm going to go into Cuphead. 
Okay, so here at the Cuphead main menu, we can check to see if we now have cheats available. So let's go ahead and open the Tesla menu, go into Edison, and click on cheats. And now we should have a populated cheats option for this title. So Edison automatically has them activated. You can go one by one and disable them if you want, or have some on, have some off as you're playing your title. So that's pretty much how the cheats work. Now let's go ahead and check to see on a different one. Okay, so I wanted to show you a newer title that just came out, even though I haven't played it yet. So if I enter it, I don't have any saved game data, but we can still check to see if Edison still has any cheats available. So if I'm gonna go into the Tesla menu, go into Edison, click on cheats, and here are the available options that you have for this title. So same thing, toggle on and off if you like, and that will be up to you. So that's pretty much it. That's how you use the Edison and the cheats. And yeah, so let me get out of here. And with that, we are done here. So everything is working for me just fine. And I hope everything is working for you as well. But of course, if it's not, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Also, if you're interested in seeing some gameplay with cheats, I will be posting some gameplay on my second channel, the other side. And if you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description to that second channel. And there I'll be posting some gameplay with some active cheats. That way you can see how it works and if you want to try it for yourself. So last thing I want to say is I appreciate everybody that's been giving love to this channel and myself. I really appreciate everyone, every each and one of you. So thank you for that. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.